Yeah, so my name is Hansel. I have a couple pieces in the show. Um, uh, I work with a couple guys in the troupe, um, Abe and Mike. Um, and they called me one day and said, um, you know, I have a screen printing studio set up in my house. Just come down and hang out and screen print. So I was like, okay, you know, so I went down and turned into a show. Oh, very, very nice. Now, now, uh, obviously, I've seen some of your screen prints, but we're standing in front of one of your paintings. Perhaps you can tell me just a little bit about this particular painting. So, um, here's a story. Um, I was told to say that it's a painting of my uh, Brazilian lover, who I met um, during a, a study abroad. Her name is Tiara, and she had the most gorgeous torso. And um, when I heard about the concept for the show, um, I realized that I always wanted to paint like a really, you know, fat gut. So that's what I did. Oh, very, very nice. Now, now, um, can you tell us just a little bit about the media that you're working with, just for those people that uh, that uh, aren't familiar with painting very much? Yeah, it's um, it's basically just oil, um, oil paint on canvas. Um, I really like working with oil paint. Um, it's very flexible, and I like the the texture and the quality of it. So. Now, how long have you been painting? Uh, like high school-ish, so okay. I don't know how many years that is. <laughs> Very nice. Now, now, uh, now, do you generally, uh, generally, when you're painting, do you generally collect colors from the uh, from the actual surroundings, or do you ever get more inventive with it, or, or, or where where are you at in terms of the the decisions that you're making with color in terms of the paintings? Um, I, I I generally try to go, um, you know, get the realistic colors in there, and I take a lot of photos of the model and um, go from there. But um, what I kind of like to do is, um, you know, like paint the darks with not black, but dark colors like browns and blues and purples and right. mix the color. And I, I have this elitist belief that um, I don't want to use any, like, paint out of the tubes. I always try to like, mix it up. And it's all about mixing the colors yes. in this particular yes. thing. Now you, now, you just mentioned that uh, that you, uh, for this particular piece, you were working from photographs. Do you usually uh, start by doing a photo shoot and then move on to the painting? Yes. Okay. Now, now um, no, that's great. Now, do you ever work from live models? Um, not really. It's kind of tough to have a model sit for a while. Sure. Um, and um, if I have a photo, I can, you know, have it up and you know zoom in into it and you know see all the subtlety in the colors and um, and I just have it pinned up next to the canvas. And I, so you really have to be both a good photographer as well as a good painter in order yeah. to sort of end up with it. How much of the lighting and so on is done in the photograph versus in the painting? Um, not much. It was just taken in my uh, living room and um, just at night, just a lamp. Okay. So. Now, now, uh, this is one painting from from many, and you also talked. Are some of the silk screens that you were working on up at uh, Abraham's house uh, in this exhibition, or do you have just other paintings in this show? Um, no, I just have the um, the screen prints in the show. Now, now we can't see them at this point, but describe the uh, screen prints for those folks at home. So it's called the Breakfast Series. Um, it's uh, three prints of bacon, eggs, and toast. Oh, fantastic breakfast! <laughs> yeah. And uh, what do they what do they look like? What, how do you use color in there differently than perhaps you use in uh, this painting? So with the screen print, I, I, I kind of went with like a really sort of graphic kind of plastic shapes, um, but with a little more organic, natural details. Um, especially with the bacon and the toast, I think it you know has a lot of like texture and you know details to it make it look like what it's supposed to be. So. Absolutely. Very nice. Now, um, uh, we'll, we'll be checking in uh, perhaps later when we get a chance to see several, several of the other pieces. Uh, what has your experience been like so far uh, working with the Chicago Art Department? Oh, it's been, it's been wonderful. It's been awesome. I mean, um, you know, roommates at Abe's apartment, they're just, you know, they make me dinner and, you know, they're just so welcoming and they're really cool and they're really laid back and, um, you know, putting up the show till like, you know, 2 a.m., you know, few nights ago. <laughs> um, it's a lot of work, but you know, I think I think it's really cool. One last question for you here. Uh, we've got this painting. Can you tell us the title of this piece? Uh, it's called It Grows on You When You Stare at It. It grows on you when you stare at it. And what's this piece priced at? Uh, $500. 500 Okay, thank you. Now back up to you, Pei. Uh, perhaps you can switch us over to the bar and we'll see what kind of gossip's going on over there. <laughs>